Welcome back, folks, to more West of Loathing. It's our main character, Bobcat Oakley, and uh, we're mostly done with the uh, main area that we're in on the western side here. I think we've done pretty much. There's like two more spots, three more. After that, I think we'll be able to use the railroad cam to cross over and reach the possibly final area. Now, I don't think there was anything else we had to do in Breadwood. Really? I think we're good. <laughs> So let's go check out the curious Ben Noel. Hey, the Rusty, how you doing? Well, let's attach rope. Oh, and the transponder is activated. So we're probably gonna have a shockweed. And we don't have anything for here though. Oh. Another teleporter. More punch cards. A voice says on on. On on? Seven buttons appear on top of the platform. Ooh, uh I I don't what? A harsh buzz. A voice says, Nichabu. I don't, I don't know this language. Second one? Ganilla. Third one? Anahan. And if we press the second one. And Bekus. Maybe it's the number of letters? Okay, let's try seven then. Otada. Six. Ganilla. Six again. No, I don't... I don't think that's it. Maybe we need a... Do we have a cipher? Maybe that's what we need. I don't think we do. numbers and you can press enough buttons to figure it out. Let's try poo poo for one. It's not it. Let's try a poo poo for her two. Vanilla one. Oh. The terminal emits a reassuring tone. You have learned the El Vibrato word for the number zero. <gasps> so Ganilla is zero. Bekus. Hey there, Rambi. is number two. Okay. The Chabu. Stasta. Okay, so Stasta is number one. 
Mbeku's, I don't think it's five now. Kupu. Four? No. Matata. Five. The Hotada is four. The Chabu. Three. The voice says four. Obuno Stakuzum Stakusum Put in a large punch card. We have learned the Elvibrata word for extraterrestrial, facility, and teleporter. All punch card? Source and secondary. Okay, so we're learning new words. Toggle positronic beacon. Sustenance insufficient chrono key. Personnel anti psychotic. Quick gate decloaker fabrication. Magnitude Terminal Drone. Oh, we're, we're learning a lot of stuff. Military Emergency. Garbage Refreshment Select. Auditory Self Clothing. Online System Cannon. Power Offline. Coffee Maker Headwear Return. I'm learning a new language, boys. Whoa, indeed. Obuno Terminal. Ah, okay. We're learning. Oh, that was, uh, that was good. Let's go get some soup stock for the town. Oh. Ooh. Can of tuna. Got some meat. Pretty decent stuff here. A lodestone ring. A toolbox on this bench. It's locked and welded to the bench. Nice. We don't have a needle. Right, let's, uh, we need some soup. Go to town. Do 
There's a sign that says 3,200 pounds pressure required. And there's a gauge currently reads zero. Turn bolt number seven. How much is that raising it though? How much do I need? the elevator in the exact right spot to correctly position all three of the bolts. Wow, that was easy. How did I learn that? When did I learn that? Oh, El Vibrato. Pipeline offline. Line, offline, insert fluid, sustenance, refreshment, let's try a refreshment, seltzer, a sustenance, a food cube, what's the third one, rum, Snakes, soup snakes. Well, um, get our golem out. Bean wall. We should have been walled first. Um, I think I can kill them in one go. Mysticality, go up. Out of here, snakes. All right, well, we got the soup for the town. Hopefully, the bread bowls are going to last the, the trip. Shame we don't have any um, any needles. Come here, I got your uh, got your soup right here. Not yet. Got him right here. Your real lifesaver. I was about to. I was about ready to gnaw off my own beard off. That'd have been a shame. Okay, so we need the logging permit. Does that mean we have to go back to freaking Germany again? Hey there, Freeport. How you doing? Is the bread wood? Oh yeah, we had to. Uh, we had to wait a few days. Two days. Okay. Oh, well, we've got another area we can go check out. The Kellogg Ranch. Patch of local weed. A list of draconian fitness rules to the list of draconian fitness rules the guests of this sanatorium had to adhere here. Adhere to. Okay. Measure yourself. Hmm. 
There's a skeleton here. It's the ape skeleton. They've got the spleen mixed up with the liver. How embarrassing. Oh, there's a ghost here. This desk is scrupulously tidy. In fact, there's not so much as a desk blotter or a single pen. It only has one drawer. However, you find a secret button cleverly hidden on the underside of that one drawer. Hey, here's that. That's my desk. Keep out of it. You're incorporeal, so go ahead and try to stop me. Why, I, uh, I never. Let's press the button. Secret room. Keep calm and enjoy nothing. This is the most boring secret room you can imagine. Oh. Find a, vine, a binder full of cryptic, messily written notes labeled Kellogg's Grain Flakes Preparation. Decode the recipe. You grab a sheet of paper and consolidate the crazy series of note into a more or less straightforward recipe. Interesting. Uh, whoa, uh, hello? Hello! So you're a ghost, huh? Yes, it does appear so. And alas, without me to instruct them in my regiment of purity, all my patients have fled. That's probably not exactly why. They're likely out ravaging the countryside and their own bodies. One cannot have purity of the soul without purity of the body, you know. What's this whole purity kick about anyway? My threefold plan to the elimination of corrupting influences. Do you want to hear about it? Sure. First step I call the purity of the glands. One must risk one must rid oneself of all romantic and sexual desires and cease any self-polluting activities. Like what, smoking cigars? Well yes, but I'm speaking more of you know nighttime activities. Alone. What? Anyway, that's the first step. Okay, what's the second step? The step, the second step is purity of guts. This is accomplished through frequent cold water enemas. Yikes. And the consumption of wholesome and nutritious grain flakes manufactured through my personal scientifically developed recipe. What did he mean by nighttime activities? I, I don't know. I, I'm actually following this regiment myself. What makes them any different from any, any other breakfast cereals? Did you not hear me? The recipe is scientifically developed. All right, what's the third step? Final step is purity of the muscles. I have developed an extensive exercise regimen featuring several workout machines that I have invented myself. Need and all of this together, what was it? My regiment eliminates corrupting influences from the body, thus purifying the body, mind, and soul. Well, that sounds like a good result to shoot for, and it works? Certainly it does. Why, just look at me. You're dead. Only coincidentally. Uh-huh. Well, I mean. Oh, there's a skeleton, and he's wearing weird pants, the chastity pants. That's what you need. So you don't have nighttime activities. It looks like a torn out part of a diary page. Supposed to achieve purity of glands, but I can't stand sleeping in those metal pants. They're so noisy, especially when I... The bed is covered in bones! So many needles. 
hell is this? Rain hoppers are currently empty. Dough press. Large oven. Purity is the best sauce. Let's weigh, weigh ourselves. We weigh 47 slugs. Hmm. We'll have to lose a few slugs. Gymnasium. Your body is still wrong. Let's stretch our limbs. You strap yourself into the machine and allow it to inflict some warm up stretches on you. Keep going. The machine pulls too hard, which promptly yanks one of your shoulders out of its socket. Ow. I hope I didn't get. No. Didn't get a debuff. It's the lung flex. Suck on the blast hole. You've had en enough exercise for now. This place is terrible. This is the vibra vibromatic skeletal agitator. No way you are done with this stupid machines. Oh. Oh wait, we need like seven. At least seven um, lockpicks or needles. Okay. Guess all we can do is go back home and rest for two days so we can get the uh, logging permit. Because there's nothing else. Wait, did we get? Let's go check. Roy Bean. Oh, over Brado machine. 120. someone selling needles? I don't think there is anyone. Golem? Go see Roy. Hey Roy. I'm still looking. the other jelly beans we were we were needing I think there was one here oh hello wandering Sally got some needles you don't oh, I can buy an apple and a carrot we already got a pickaxe, we've got a ton of locks. And a bunch of dynamite. Alright, see ya. Whee. What should we do next? Looks like we have to fix some things, yeah? Any other ideas? Ape skeleton back to the petting cemetery. Oh, another suggestion. Okay. I cracked skeleton. He's at the fort of darkness. Oh, jeez. We got a ton of stuff to do. Skeletons. And they're toasty. Well. Wall up. Armor 
armor up. And blast them with magic. Is this what you were looking for? Oh, yes, wonderful, thanking you. Am I climbing now? Sure. Awesome. Purple goo. It's a pile of goblin junk. Ow. Hello, no climbing for a humans. Too bad. Let's talk to him. Can I bribing you into letting me climbing? Oh, um, hmm, okay. What are you wanting? Cactus syrup. A delicious vein is being in the other room, but had losing my tap. Oh, we don't have a tap. Make a tap. All right. You bolt a flange into a pipe and couple, uh, add a couple of rusty widgets. Not pretty, but it's a tap. Hello, having a syrups? Yes. Hooray. Needing more for proper bar bribing. Of course you are. There you go. Oh, we've got another one. Hello, hi. Can I? Nope. Okay, can I? Yep. Bringing me goblin elixir. What's that? A potion of extra delicious being. So good. Uh huh. Make it goblin elixir? Well, that's easy for you to say. Uh, look for some instructions. You find a scrap of paper in the drawer that looks maybe like instructions for an elixir, but it's all in goblin science jargon that you don't understand at all. You start mixing things, I guess. Uh, oh. Start with the blue juice. Start with the purple syrup. Start with some mauve powder. Now, I'm no chemist. So I'm going to refer to chat here. Powder first, okay. Then do we add brown liquid, black fluid, or vo violet granules? Black fluid. The mixture turns orange and starts to steam a little. What's next? Uh, add some red slime. Add some chartreuse ooze. Add some yellow lumps. Slime. <laughs> the mixture turns white and starts to steam even harder. Now what? Stir it, shake it, or spit in it. Throw it away. Four, three, three. I need someone to cut. We've got a tie here between throwing it away and spitting in it. You guys can't double up on your vote here. All right. You work up a good mouthful of saliva and spit in the beaker. The, picture, the mixture turns pink and starts to steam like crazy. You manage to pitch the concoction out the window and duck under the table just in time. It explodes with a tooth rattling bang. Jeez, this alchemy is some tricky stuff. All right, let's, uh... You were right. 
should have listened to you for report instead of Mike. All right, I'm going to do it. I know Goblin. Orange syrup. Some slime. Stir it up. Keep it. Here's your elixir, probably. Oh, good, yes. The goblin moves away from the ladder and takes little sips from the flask, savoring the flavor. It, is it good? Yes, perfect. See? You guys don't know goblin. Uh, hey guys. Holy crap, if this isn't the most disturbing thing you've ever seen, I don't want to know what that was. Uh, hey guys, uh, those jelly beans, can I have into them? Oh, what? No, our fruit rocks? No, no, not taking our fruit rocks. These being ours, not for you taking. Jeez Louise. Talk to it, them. But not looking like you're eating them. Jar is still full. What, eating? Fruit rocks are not for eating. Fruit rocks are just for looking at. You just look at them? Not fitting through floor hole. Can't leaving room. Fruit rocks only entertainment being. Good grief, that's sad. Try to help him out. Okay, how about I teaching you something else for entertaining? Something better than fruit rocks looking at? Hmm, okay, sounding good. I agreeing. I not certain. What being better than fruit rocks looking at? 20 questions. You teach the goblins how to play 20 questions. And once you get them over the initial hurdle of a goblin being neither an animal, vegetable, nor mineral, they pick it up pretty, fla pretty fast. Soon they're so focused on the game, they've stopped paying attention to you entirely. See ya, goblins. We made it! Let's see Roy Bean. Your travels are interrupted by a fairly disturbing sight. A skeleton covered with weird glowing mushrooms, which is shambling towards you and making angry hissing sounds and weird gestures. Hiss. Gesture. Did that thing just give me the finger? I think it's supposed to be like an incantation sort of deal. It's correct for spellcasting. No, no, no. You're getting all these gestures all wrong. You're not, you're not accounting for your arms being lighter than normal, so the momentum is all out of kilter. Hiss? I'll demonstrate without actually casting the spell. Watch closely. You wave your arms in a complicated manner, which the skeleton observes and then duplicates. The spell causes all the mushrooms to explode, blowing her apart. That's a pretty good bone. We actually got a good bone here. Right now we have... What's our weapon? A hard loaf. Five mysticality, so this is actually better. Yeah, nice. Hey, Roy, I got your beans. Wonderful. Good job, kid. Looks like they're all here, too. The goblins didn't eat any? It's a long and weird story. Well, never mind, then. You've done a swell job, kid. I've only got one more jar of jelly beans missing. And they was stole by a gang of damn hippies. Why'd they take them? Heck, who knows what a hippie's thinking? All I know is they took off, said, headed south, and a little bit west. Okay, I'll well, be right back. Hmm, we could upgrade. We got 700 experience. 
Um, we could get our golem into a largest, largest bean golem. Master Chef. Uh, it's not really worth it, though. Like, compared to uh, Northern Blizzard or Better Golem or Better Beanwall. Well, Beanwall is not that useful. I mean, it's one more hit on the additional walls, which we don't really care about. Dickerin? I'm getting bean golem. I don't care. Uh, sorry, chat. I don't care. I want a bigger golem. Military objects. the shroom cave. Hmm. There's a lot of shrooms. Oh. The hallucinate hallucinogenic bacterius thirthipica. Go back to the hippie camp and make something out of that. Mushroom map. The cultist is totally zonked out. Cultist is muttering and twitching in his sleep. Mushroom crumbs litter the floor around him. We could put him down, ruthless, loot his belongings. You're not allowed to ignore chat. Oh, I'm very... Well, um, who got the goblin thing done, hmm? It wasn't chat. So what do we do? Do we put him down or do we loot his belongings? Well, we haven't found what we're looking for, which was the jello beans. labeled shroom locations and shows a weird convoluted trail leading to a big X. <laughs> you recognize this X as you recognize the X as this very cave. The source of the trail looks like it's right near that weird fort full of we dirty weirdos. Ah. I guess we gotta go to is it Fort Treason? No. Which one had the hood the hippies? Fort Memorium? Fort of Darkness? Yeah, Fort of Darkness. It 
seen any jelly beans? No, <laughs> I'm not interested in jelly beans unless they're the kind of jelly beans that get you completely blasted. I don't think that's a real thing. No, it is. I heard they got them in Frisco. That doesn't seem safe, you know, for kids. If you have any lactarious mushrooms, I can refine them into a more potent portable, i.e. a potion. I do. Thanks. that if only we had safe cracking too we do Seen any jelly beans? Well, first we must take care to define our terms. What does it mean to see jelly beans? And what if what I see as jelly beans are different than what you see as? Cut the crap before I cut it for you. Um, uh, no, I have not. But I do know that Irene, the newest, and I, da I dare say the most delightful of our little clan is particularly fond of them. You might ask her. Uh, no, thank you. Is it you? Are you? Seen any jelly beans? Keith, the job home. Keith, Keith. Have you seen any jelly beans? Uh, uh yeah. I had some jelly beans recently. I uh, don't quite remember. Um, oh, they were in my lounge. Where's your lounge? I, I I don't quite remember. It's it's only there part of the time anyway. What? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Not sounding smashed enough. Excuse me for beating being straight edge. Hmm. Need to do some shrooms in real life. It's Pop some shrooms just before the stream. Okay, so uh, we don't know where our lounge is. Need to spike your coffee. Uh, no. guy called Cactus Bill? Shh, away going. Why are you inside a cactus? Watching cactus herd. We're keeping safe from a predator. What predator? Any predator. Desert toy toys, cactus eagle, other goblins. Now going away, you're ruining my disguise. Help him out. Your disguise is not very great. A cactus not usually having a goblin face? Oh. Here, I am helping. Cast a little spell to make the goblin's disguise more effective. So, unfe so effective, in fact, that you lose track of which cactus was the goblin and can't find him. You shrug and head on your way.
I don't quite remember. It's only there part of the time anyway. It's only there part of the time. Bit bagging that sand. I don't, I don't know what she's talking about. tried and the skelly doesn't get picked up. Oh! Well, you were right, but not in the way you thought. See? Got lucky. That's what I see. That's a lot of a lot of monsters. right here on oh, day's work just have it happen to have it right here all right so we can get bonus now if we wanted to Now we gotta find her lounge. Maybe it's in this room cave. Thing that opens a third eye. Uh, yeah, I already checked that out. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's try it out, I guess. Oh, we can't use it because we're spleen. What was that line from the other game, Open Your Mandela's? No, it was, uh... Oh, what was it called? Balance for Mandela's? No. That was from Exile. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go rest, I guess. To the other place. Oh, found the Stearns Ranch. Might as well go check it out. Give him a an apple and a carrot. That'll work. Oh my God! Needles. Some stocks. Build a crate. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's how it works, though. the work of a moment to fix the doll's voice box. Hi, I'm Grace. What is your name? None of your business, doll. I'm Bobcat. Hi, Bobcat. You're nice. Do you want to play with me? Yes, let's play. Hooray! Mary used to play with me, but we didn't get to finish our tea party before she went away. Do you want to help me finish it? Surely. Hooray! The game is almost over. Mary did such a good job. The doll's eyes roll back forward. Go downstairs and get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make the mean cow let you get into the secret room? The magic word is peanut butter. You shudder as you realize that talking dolls haven't been invented yet. <gasps> what? to room destroy the goblet I'll finish the battle tech story nice get out of here Toilet pistol? Ew.
No. A whole family. Why did it, did you destroy the teacup? So I'm not evil. You'll live to regret this. Hee <laughs> hee. Oops. Now we made the doll mad. Sixth is the sixth of demonic posing. Now remember, we couldn't open the ranch, the barn. Unlimited grain. some cooking uh, what was it what was the uh oh what did mary say first page says in little girl handwriting this is the diary of mary stearns the i in diary in dairy are crossed out and the i a written above them Diary starts as typical kid stuff. You flip ahead until you notice the writing getting shakier. I found a dolly under a cactus out back and she told me her name was Grace. Mom and Papa don't believe me that she talks. They say I got a big imagination. Oh. Uh, Grace says the cows are gonna get us, but Papa says we'll be okay because this weren't ever, never a cow ranch. Grace says he's wrong, but Papa won't believe me. Grace says she can keep the cows away, but I have to play tea party with her. I don't like this kind of tea party, but Grace says it's important to keep the cows away. Mama was sad that they couldn't find Effie. Papa said she'd been gone so long that they should put a cross up, but Mama won't let him because she thinks she'll come back. Papa said she's only 11. How far could she have gone? Ma and Mama started crying again. Don't want to play tea party anymore, but Grace says I has to. Papa was out two days looking for Joey, but of course he didn't find him. Mama cried so much. Tried to tell him, tell her him and Effie are helping keep the cows away, but she don't understand. I told Grace I'm not playing tea party again, but I, she says I gotta, and if I don't, the cows are gonna eat all three of us. She said I either get Mama or Papa to play, or else I gotta play by myself. Oh no! Mary, what did you do? Barley, oats. Okay, remember this chat. I need, I need this. I need this. Four parts barley, one parts oats, three parts spelt. Press to 91 PSI, cook for eight minutes at 640 degrees.
And we got a multi grain dough. Take your dough and go home. Uh, red button. Blue button? Red button. Press the green button. Ah. All right. Perfectly pressed dough. Nice. You grab your dough and leave. As you're leaving, you wonder if the dough is leaving. Plot the dough into a metal tray, hopefully, helpfully provided, and slide it into the slot in the oven. There's only two knobs, one for temperature and one for duration. You decide to turn the knobs in order from left to right. Temperature, no <laughs> temperature knob is on the left, so we turn that one first. Are you paying attention? There's going to be a quiz later. Where's the temperature knob? Uh, 640. And eight minutes. Oh my God, we can purify our guts. They're great. Let's do it. Let's purify our guts. You can't bring yourself to eat these boring looking flakes. Didn't catalog say something about needing your glands to be pure before you can purify your guts? Well, that's what's stopping you, impure glands. You know what? We need the metal pants. Now. Now we can eat it. Well, maybe not. Oh, nice. Oh. You pick up the diary and blow off some of the dust. The cover says the diary of Smith. The first name has worn away, but you can tell it was longer than seven letters. Sadly, the contents aren't particularly juicy. The author joined Kellogg's health program because she had several relatives with poor health and wanted to preserve her own. She found the ranch to be pretty boring, but appreciated the lack of anything much else to do. Gave her plenty of time to spend knitting, which was her favorite hobby. The last entry mentions Kellogg's death, rumored but unconfirmed to be due to a brain aneurysm caused by outrage at hearing a dirty joke. And that the author was returning home. Guess she forgot the diary when she left. Death by bad joke. Ah, there we go. There we go. Now we can do the workout. Worm of stretching. Then lung expansion, two reps. Oh. <laughs> ah, maybe that's what it is. So how do we purify ourselves?
Yeah, how do we do the purity of the glands? Sleep with the pants. Uh, these guys. These chat members. You dream that you're having lunch with a chattering skeleton while fleeing from a fish, and then all your teeth fall out. You wake up drenched in sweat. <laughs> Purity of glands! We did it, boys! We're pure now! Not yet. Let's eat our corn flakes or grain flakes, sorry. Purity of guts. So clean. Now the exercise. Worm of stretching. Then lung one. You put your mouth on the blast hole and turn the valve on the side of the machine. A blast of air inflates your lungs. Feels good. Suck again. You put your mouth on the blast hole and turn the valve on the side of the machine. Another blast of air stretches your lungs out even more. All right. Feels great. Now uh, we got a maintenance stretch. Get back into the stretcher and feel, and when it's done twisting you around, you feel more balanced than you did before. Now we got an equilibrium three times. Your skeleton vibrates inside you and it feels great. Your skeleton vibrates more, revealing bones and muscles you didn't even know you had by making them feel amazing. Keep going. Your skeleton undergoes a cathartic third round of vibration. Every molecule in your body is now exactly where it's supposed to be. Nice. That was the last one. Cool down stretching. Strap yourself to the stretching machine for a nice relaxing cool down. Wow, you feel great. That Kellogg guy was really into something. Your whole body feels amazing. Whoa, 30 HP? Oh, nice! We got like 25% more health. Oh, well, I guess, uh, I guess everyone should do that. Putting chat on the Kellogg's regime. Regime. All right, let's try out the uh, the drugs. If I can find them. Gain an effect. Baccarat Galactarius. 
as well. Not talking to the ghost? Ah, oh, should have. Do you know where Irene's lounge is? I've been there, but for some inexplicable reason, I was never invited to return. I would self-actualize by returning on my own, but I don't remember where it was, and Todd won't tell me. It's quite frustrating. Do you know anything about a lounge? We never actually talked to anyone. Have you seen the lounge? Yeah, I do. Uh, don't, don't, don't tell the talking dude if you don't mind. But it's in the cave where we get all the mushrooms. I didn't see any lounge there. It's you gotta be. Uh, hmm, let's see. We gotta be high on adventure. Local weed. Don't mind if I do. Oh. oh, there it is. The beans. Your great grandkids are going to love this kind of music. country roads Mr. Kellogg's Mr. Kellogg's I'm in shape now I already did it he don't care he don't care Sleeping in those metal pants made your night more restful than usual and gave your polluted glands a chance to heal a little. Let's go to Roy Bean. Hey, Roy. I'm right here. Well, I'll be jiggered. I never figured on seeing any of them jelly beans again. And here you brought all back. You brought back all three jars. I ain't got much to reward you with other than a handshake, Bobcat. But maybe I'll be able to pay you back somehow in the future. Don't sweat it, Roy. I was happy to help. Oh, this jelly bean. to do is rest again so we can get the uh, we can get the uh, lumberjack thing then we'll just consume consume our food day five Get angry. Oh, the lamp. Yeah, you're right.
Groovy. All right, so what are we going to eat? Buff up here. Um, stewed snake, El Vibrato rum. Me drop bonuses? How oh, is that not that useful? Increases your muscle, mysticality, and moxie by five, and your maximum HP by twenty. That's pretty good, though. Holy that. Food cubed. All right, we'll get item and meat bonuses. Speed, hard attack, surgical gin, more armor if we wanted to. Muscle, mysticality, moxie by five, and maximum AP by two. Hey, I'll take that. <laughs> Spell damage by ten. Oh, Fortuna. Oh. Uh. Daily damage, beef steak, grave dirt, sass, paparilla. Bourbon. Bourbon breaded. We got a lot of health now. Boomstone pizza. Ranch dressing. How much health can we have? Oh, black beans. And spell damage. All right, that should be enough. Oh, we can go uh, send a postcard to our brother. Hey, bro. Oh, we got a package from Rufus. A cat hat? Bro, I found your old hat behind the bed in your room. Thought you might want it back. <laughs> might as well, right? Gross yet perfect. Exactly. Tony's. Hey, Tony. Oh, hey, nice to see you again. Hey, yeah, did your elves make the trip okay? Uh, sure, yeah, no problems at all. I mean, I've been seeing less of them and less of them since the move, though. I've been making some boots myself to help them out. That's real nice of you. Uh, so, uh, what can I get you? Boot polish? Only shiny boots. Well, that's pretty good. Tony's shooting boots. Tony's tiger striped boots. I think we'll go with shiny boots. And get some boot polish. Oh yeah, it's much better.
You thoroughly polish your boots until you can see your reflection in them, only your reflection is moving slightly more quickly than you are. That's kind of crazy. Howdy, Bill. Howdy. Say, I don't reckon you found me a cactus lady yet. Not yet, Bill. Sorry. Buddy Bill. Alright, saddle up. And let's go to Germany. Vibrato oh. Robots. Here for the uh, logging permit. Oh, let me look. Yeah, yes, here it is. Yeah, and there you are. I don't have to sign anything to collect it. Nope. Are you sure? No, sir. That's it. Holy crap. Oh my god. We got it. Yes, finally. Well, that's definitely going to improve the situation around here. Thank you. I just hope to never see another form again. So, uh... Alright, we got the stolen yeast and the missing bread. <laughs> Take our old yeast supply very seriously in here in Breadwood, and that dang yeasty gang made off a whole lot. A couple of fellas said they saw them lord loitering around the old brewery. That's probably where they made their hideout. We need that yeast back. The Baker Boys cleaned out our bank right out. And that's not a bit fabulous if you ask me. Fortunately, they haven't been too secretive about the location of their, hide of their hideout. We get our bread back. I mean, the place is called Breadwood. We have to have some bread. Right. Uh, let's talk to uh, Hard. What should we do next? Any other ideas? Beast the Gang, Red Bull. That's it. Oh man, we're rolling. <laughs> All right, let's go see the Baker Boys. Antagonistic, antagonistic pillar of evil. Oh yeah? You think you're so tough? Get cooked. Bones. Just Dark Souls, yes. These teenagers seem dispirited and are trying to drown their sorrows with big mugs of water. Hey, you boys, you wouldn't know about some bread that went missing, would you? Aw, oh, nuts. I told you we'd get in trouble, Billy. Shut up, Jerry. Way to just blab everything, dude. Calm down, you two. The mayor just wants his bread back. Hand it over and the trouble you're in will be minimal. It ain't that simple, mister. We sold that bread for meat to start up this bakery. Why? Because we wanted to make something out of our lives. Everyone in Breadwoms... Breadwoms? 
Everyone in Breadwood is just bums. Plus, like, everyone needs bread, right? So we figured we'd make it big. Just wanted to make some dough. Okay, well, no problem. We take the brain. No problem. We take the mayor, the bread that you've made, and we call it even. Yeah, uh, no problem, except the fact that we don't know a dang thing about making bread. As it turns out, we all ended up. All we ended up is this weird lumps. Oh, that ain't true, Billy. The last loaf we tried was almost right. Yeah, sure, that one was nearly edible. We're practically out of ingredients. Maybe it can help. Unlimited bones? We got an idea. I don't have time. Bean slinger, mysticality. I'm a pretty good forager. I can teach you boys what to look for. There's plenty of cactuses and wild grains you can use. That sounds hard and boring. But you'll have lots of different options for ingredients and what customers want is variety. That's a good point. I don't mind foraging if you just want to do the bacon, Billy. All right, school's in session. Teach Jerry how to find the wild ingredients they need while Billy works out on figuring out the proper recipe. After a couple of tries, they managed to produce a pretty decent loaf of bread and bake enough to cover what they stole from the mayor. All's oh, well, look at that. If bread were money, these boys would be rich now. Don't mention it. And in the end, they're really just rich in experience. And that's really what matters. Hey boss, I got your wood, uh, your wood, your bread. <laughs> the old Schmaltz Brewery. I think this one's going to be another misunderstanding. They just wanted to brew some beer. Uh, this feller's too scared to talk to you. He's just totally freaked out about yeast. Beer hose. That dead guy's hat got knocked off and it's covered with yeast. Okay, but do? It's a beer vat, or at least it's a vat. It's not guaranteed to actually contain beer. To ethanol. That yeast beast seems to have killed this guy pretty thoroughly. Some kind of crazy yeast monster has apparently broken loose from the vats and has eaten some of the bandits. I guess they brewed up something they couldn't put down. They could barely control it. You'll have to hop to it if you want to prevail. <sighs> now that was pretty good. Uh. Did you write this? No, of course not. It's much too clever for me. Hooray. The remains of the horrible yeast beast. I guess you can take some of it back to the mayor, right? It's probably still good. Here. So this whole yeast theft biz doesn't seem to have gone well for you guys. Uh, yeah, no, I, uh, oh, jeez. Are you a bounty hunter? Relax. The mayor just wants his yeast back. He didn't say anything about hauling you in. Whew. Yeah, okay. Well, that yeast in, is in that revolting pile. So what happened here? Well, we got bored of bread is all. 
I know a bit about brewing, and if we figured we came, if we came back with a couple of kegs, nobody would mind so much that we stole the yeast. No offense, but it seems like you weren't much of a brewer. Hey, well, ideally, you wouldn't end up with a ravenous yeast monster. That wasn't my... Oh, okay, well, maybe it was my fault. But I understand what happened. These vats are old, and we didn't clean them properly first. Because we were in a hurry. I think there were some frogs living in one of them. And you figured you could use the extra hops. <laughs> if you're sure you've got it figured out. You could set up shop in dirt water. Oh, yeah, it's turning into quite a little metropolis. I'd love to have my own place. I'll go check it out. Got cans of schmaltz blue ribbon. That's pretty good. Maybe crack a cold one with the boys? <laughs> now he's too grumpy to talk to you. Just angrily muttering about yeast. Arrest him. You're under arrest. For what? Stealing about two handfuls of yeast? Yes. And the sentence for that is what? About three days in jail? Um, and Breadwood doesn't actually have a jail? All right, I'll let you off with a warning this time. To Breadwood! It was Core's Light. No, it's. It could be Paps Blue Ribbon. Yeah. It's PBR. About that lumber. All right, you helped me out quite a bit, so I reckon I can set you up so what, with what you need for that bridge. Thank you. <laughs> so bored now. Leave him to his relaxation. You read the list of Breadwood's problems. Bad lumber deal. We're giving lumber to the railroad company for like no meat and that's bad. Last time a mayor let this list go over three items. We chased him out of town with his breadstick nailed to the top of his head. Have you solved that dead Smith mystery? No. No, we haven't solved it. That's in the uh, cemetery, right? Um, oh yeah, we gotta go to the other cemetery. We'll do that first. This is your meat drop bonus, spell damage, maximum AP. Healy damage, range damage, armor, item drop, speed. Yeah, we did the, the one, the 420, I think. Boon of Owl. Jesus. 
we are cooking. First name ended with a vowel. When I was 40, when she was born, no, 38, or was it 42? A range of five between 37 and 42. Her first name was longer than her last, just like mine. She wasn't buried next to any of my daughters. She passed the same age as poor, poor Becky, who was always such an ill health. Oh, and her favorite not, uh, hobby was knitting. She knit me a lovely sweater for Crimbo, just the year before she died. find this one <clears throat> you're right you're right we did find the diary did we keep it though Gagberry here. A whole bone zone. the sweet gang may they never wake up got a sweet sword oh we can crack this one read the document Oh, yeah. I remember when Lucky said he hated meme games. Yeah, that didn't change anything. 
What are you trying to say? That I'm some kind of hypocrite? That yeah, sure is. Pontine Key. I guess we can go check out the Kellogg area again. Lockers. This one. Diary of Smith. It was longer than seven letters. seven letters when did Kellogg die someone pull up Wikipedia grim looking cowboy rides up and blocks her path Hold it. This area is full of cows and I can't let you go any further. This ain't, this ain't safe for regular folks. I'll go ahead and uh, turn back now. Well, thanks for the warning, but what if I refuse? I'll use force if I gotta. You're gonna ensure my safety by beating me up? I recognize the conundrum, but that's the times we're living in. I'll convince him. The cows are basically everywhere. It wasn't safe where we're coming from either. That may be true, but... I think you're underestimating how bad things can get. All right, go on ahead, but don't think, don't say I didn't warn you. Thanks. <clears throat> 1943. Oh, that's not gonna work. We're in the 1800s. So more than seven letters. She was 37 to 42. Who is she? Madeline? Didn't we say Madeline last time? is our our lady here uh 
Yeah, it was Rebecca Smith, right? So Rebecca Smith was between 37 and 42. Smith. name is first Becky that's her name my name is first Becky Meredith It'd be Meredith Magdalene Melissa, forty two. Find out what was the uh, Same age as poor, poor Becky. Seventy five. We got to find every Becky and see if one of them dies at sixty three. What do you mean? Oh, because that's the day of the year she died. Magdalene died in 63. No, it's the same age, not the same year. Yeah, my bad. Okay, so... She died when she was... 16. She died when she was 24. She died when she was 38. 16, 24, 38. Remember that, chat. 
16, 24, 38. Hi, hi, hi. Someone write it down, please. 162438. Because Melissa, 38. Magdalene, 23. Meredith, 37. No, 37. Math. <laughs> Unless I carry, carry favor. Doesn't work that way. 39. I, I guess it's Melissa. Patricia. Patricia. That's forty to fifty, so that's not in the uh, the age bracket. Patricia, twenty four. 24 would work. Is she next to a daughter? Doesn't seem like it. She has more than seven letters. Could be Patricia. Let's go through it. with an A. Thirty-seven to forty-two. Is she in the age bracket? Yeah, she is. Didn't she do Patricia last time? I don't know what we did last time. I could see either Patricia or Melissa. I don't know. Hey, the Renegade, how you doing? The diary has no dates. just says that she left the the Kellogg's factory Kellogg's farm earlier uh, after he died uh, what is that what am I fighting for Where's Kellogg's tombstone? I don't think Kellogg had a tombstone. I 
We, we should probably solve this as well. know anything? <laughs> Shoot them darn cans. Tombstone. It's longer than seven letters. So if it's longer than seven letters, and Melissa seven, Patricia. Because it's the only one that makes sense, right? But it could be like... tree hmm. 
Melissa lived longer than Patricia. Yeah. Patricia died at 24. Patricia. No. I'm pretty sure that's the same one we picked last time. <laughs> Can't have one of those jelly beans. Yep. Hey, boss, good news. We got that lumber shipment in from Redwood and we're ready to go. You got the bridge built already? Yep, most of the passengers were so bored they chipped in to help. Nice. Now we just have to lay the tracks, rest the way to Frisco, and the work is done. Both mine and yours. See you there, boss. Uh, what about, where's my ticket? All right, finally made it to Frisco. Oh, that's a lot of health. Some beans out. Big golem. like custard what I heard there's a good custard stand out this way kind of a tourist attraction thing is it in a graveyard nope it's just a custard stand as far as I know the last custard stand what's going on Smee this fancy pants calls himself the Emperor and he won't let us build our tracks up to the station you see if you can talk some sense into him. Who the heck are you? I'm Emperor Northern Norton. I'm in charge of this city, and you can't build any train tracks here without my permission. An emperor, where's the crown then? As it happens, I lost my dang crown. The cool thing didn't fit right anyways, but without it, I can't issue any official permits. And that means no rails for you. Unless, of course, you were to give me a new crown, a properly fitting one. It's just like Final Fantasy 1. Are you Astos? I don't have any crowns, sorry. Well, I guess that just tears it, don't it? So not only do you not get that permit, but also... He reaches into his pocket and grabs a handful of powder, which he throws in your face, your eyes burn. Have a taste of my famous eye and virus, sucker! Your vision goes all weird and you pass out. What was that? When you come to, Norton is gone. And so is the train! 
No. Where did that train go? That, that lunatic stole it. He drove it off somewhere into the desert. Norton's gone off the rails. He points to a deep set of ruts off to the side of the railroad tracks. You walk over to investigate, but you can't see it because of this weird hexagon thing your eyes are doing. You should probably get that checked out, boss. That Norton fella said something about an antivirus. Maybe someone around here knows something about that. Yeah. Uh, this is the worst. Did I hear Smee say antivirus? That's bad news. For real, everything looks really weird and it's making me dizzy. Even if I knew a particular cure for that, I ain't got any with me. And without time for a specific diagnos diagnosis, we're gonna need a high powered cure all. Like what? Uh, well, honey is real good for infections and the uh, like. Didn't Roy Bean have some kind of really special honey jelly bean? It's a long shot, but I don't have anything, any better ideas. Uh, best get going. Roy! An odd flash of light nearby prompts you to stop and investigate. You discover a goblin with a strange hinged board covered with shiny foil, which they're using to reflect sunlight into a pair of leather boots. Hey, hello, what doing? Tanning. Am a, am a tanner? You are tanning boots? Yes, yes, sun using to make very tan. I don't think that's how it works, but I guess you're the expert. What? Offer to trade magic for boots. Hmm. Will you giving me boots for teaching a tanning magic? Oh, wow, sure. You teach the goblin a simplified low power broiling cantrip that should roast the leather more quickly than sunlight. And they happily give you the boots as payment. Overly tanned boots. It's like leather. Howdy, Bobcat. Thanks again for helping me get back all my jelly beans. Uh, does this jelly bean really cost 6,000 meat? Well, normally it does, yes, but I guess seeing how you helped me out with all the bandits and goblins and those darn dirty hippies, let's call her a five. Five meat, really? Yeah, I reckon. Better buy it in a hurry before I change my mind. Honey jelly bean. eat the jelly bean and your vision immediately clears. Modern medicine is really amazing. We did it! Oh. Conquistador armor. But unfortunately, we're going to have to call it here for tonight for West of Loathing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to segue into Mega Man Battle Network 3 in a few minutes. So stay tuned for that. <laughs>